Hey guys, it's me, EX20 here, back with another message. Now, I know I haven't made one in a while, but without all the formalities, let's get stuck in right now, shall we? Because it feels good. <laughs> Well guys, I hope you had a fantastic happy Halloween, and especially since it was Halloween a while back, there were some special events. And the first one, of course, was Champions Online Free For All, and they had a big Halloween event with costumes, candy, lots of candy, and all other things. And also, they're now giving away a new class to play, which is the Inventor. And of course, I play as one as Natalie, because she's lovely. Look at her, she's pretty! <laughs> well, about the other things that happened as well, Killing Floor made a new Halloween update, and to be honest, it generally really sucked. It wasn't even worth anyone's time. The only thing that was worth it was to get the new Commando Chicken skin. But I'm really disappointed Tripwire, because this update was really lazy. And that's all in Halloween stuff that happened, but also Steam now released another new game to play for free, which is DC Universe, and I have a friend here who has a message about the game. Hello, this is Scrap Zone of Doom, and I'm gonna tell you what is wrong about DC Universe. First thing is up here. The customization for it and the character editor is utter garbage. There are only about three sizes you can do for each character, small, medium, or big. You can't really customize anything, and what's worse is that you have to grind for everything you get. Which means doing the same mission over and over and over and over. The only thing that it has good for it is, in fact, the graphics. And if you like graphics, it's a game for you then. Have fun playing your little shitty game. Yeah, the game is a complete waste of your time. Play Champions Online Free For All is far superior than that piece of trash. And also, another game was released as well! What's that I hear you say? <laughs> well, that wasn't what I was looking for, but whatever. And the game was... The Haunted Hell's Reach. And uh, let's just say this game is like when you get Killing Floor and ejected with Mega Steroids. And the game can beat you up quite bad. But the game is really awesome due to the gore, violence, killing, and practically insane. You really have to try it out for yourself. I highly recommend this game. But for beginners, you will get slaughtered really quick. You have to practice the game, but it's really quite an awesome game. And it's from hell, because the boss you fight at the very end, he is hell, because he kills you in one hit. And I'm not kidding by that, but you should definitely check this game out. Okay, now we're on to the things about videos and such and such, so let's get cracking, me trackles. Ah, oh, that was a bad one. Also, there's going to be a new game review on the new Warhammer Space Marines game, or shall I say, SPACE MARINES! Why did I say it like that? You'll find out in the review. And lastly, I got a new game, which was a new Ratchet & Clank 4 for 1. And to be honest, when I first saw this game, I thought this game was going to be utter garbage. And actually, it's really damn good. Although it still doesn't explain why Clank's head's bigger than it should be. I mean, it's gigantic. Why his head's magically grown. And to let every one of the character I played, it was Dr. Nefarious, because Dr. Nefarious is goddamn awesome. Here's a clip for you. Your voice modulator is damaged, Commander. But if you tell us how to defeat Ephemeris, I believe I know someone who can fix you. Well, I don't like to brag, but I did modify my crotchetizer with a special vibrating function I call the Happy Platypus. Um, I beg your pardon, Quark, but I was referring to him. Hey, are you insane? If I may. Being evil has not worked out well for you these last few years. Perhaps using your intelligence for good will yield better results. All right, fine. But speak of this to no one. <laughs> All right, Spock. We did our part. Now, how do we defeat Ephemeris? Only the Architect knows. He lives beyond the lighthouse, in the forest of the Blue Rocks. You did the right thing, Doctor. Get bent! This game is really good, guys, so you should definitely check it out. Now, I'm EX20, sign out, and hope you have a pleasant, magical evening, and all that jazz, and don't kill your grandma. Why? Because I just felt like that. Now, bye! I'm actually starting to like it here. Sure, it's a dangerous planet riddled with murderous robots and exotic predators, but take away all that and what do you have? A presidential retreat slash water park. Can I kill him now? No. I can make it look like an accident. How? Ratchet. All right, no. 